Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 31. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with her full throttle shift feature in her EMU Black tuning software. Now, the full throttle shift is going to allow us to hold our foot down all the way to the floor when we're making our shift. If we're on a naturally aspirated or supercharged engine, we're going to be accelerating quicker because we're not going to be having that momentum slow down as we lift to shift. If we're on a turbocharged engine, we're going to be able to keep the boost up between shifts, which is going to make us much, much faster, especially if you have a large turbocharger installed that's pretty laggy, that has a poor response time. So if you lift the shift, it's going to be taking a bit of time to come back on boost. We'll be finding it's much, much quicker using this full throttle shift or flat shift feature as ECU Master is going to be calling it. So we're going to take a look at all the setup and configuration details. It's actually quite simple. So let's jump into this video so we can check out how to work with this. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our full throttle shift feature and our shift light feature in our EMU Black software. Now, before we jump into the training tutorial, make sure you have your Motorsports Tuning page template open so you can follow along with what I have on screen here in the tutorial. We're able to find that under Desktops, Open Desktops Template here under Motorsports Tuning. So make sure you select that option. I'll click Cancel because I have it loaded on my screen, and I'm going to be moving across here from my setup page into our page labeled FTS. That's going to be abbreviated for full throttle shift. So let's go in here and talk about everything we need to know in order to set this up here. So we're going to be taking a look at the flat shift or the full throttle shift feature as well as our shift light feature. So we're going to be looking at both of these. Configuration is really basic in this, but we definitely need to know some specific details. So let's talk about what we have on screen here quick. We're going to find we have our analog inputs and our switched inputs, depending on what kind of configuration input or activation input we're using for this flat shift feature. It's going to be found here. We're able to see the statuses of what those are going to be so we can make sure they're configured properly. We're also going to find we have our basic sensor information right here. And then we're also going to find that we have our uh, information of what's going on with our actual flat shift feature. So either we're in a fuel cut, ignition cut, and the activation status. We also can see here in the ignition timing when we're actually on that cut, what the cut percent is going to be, as well as what the actual ignition timing could be commanded at. This could vary depending on how we configure our flat shift feature. And then finally, we have our actual parameter window here where we do the actual programming. Now, let's talk about the flat shift real quick and what this represents. So when we're racing conditions, if we're lifting to shift, we're giving up time on the track, especially if we're drag racing and we're turbocharged. If we lift to shift, every time we do that, it's going to be slowing down the turbo a bit and we're going to be dropping boost between shifts, which is going to slow us down. We're not going to have as good of acceleration rate and ultimately we're going to have slower mile per hour and slower ET. So we definitely want to use flat shift if at all possible. Now flat shift's best left for a synchro style transmission or a dog engagement transmission if you're not running an actual strain gauge on the shift knob or the shift lever so that when you pull it, it'll know the shift force. This is going to be best left to using an actual clutch switch. So it's going to be a really basic activation of interrupting the power so when we make the shift, it's going to be unloading the transmission and the drivetrain so we don't break anything. That's going to be how we accomplish the actual full throttle shift or flat shift feature. So pretty basic of the way it's going to work, but there's going to be some configuration details that we need to make sure we set up right so this is going to function and activate properly. Now, if we are using a clutch switch, we're going to be rewiring the OEM clutch switch or even an aftermarket clutch switch so that when we're going to be running uh, the two wires from the clutch switch, one wire is going to go to a chassis ground. The other wire from the clutch switch is going to go into our switched inputs. I typically don't use my analog inputs using this flat shift feature because it's going to be just a simple circuit, two wires, and we're just going to be essentially grounding the pin. So switch one, two, and three are going to actually configure to accept a ground triggered input Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.